Contractors working to develop a $17 million triplex in a historic Tribeca building have brought to light a forgotten work by the artist Keith Herring. The triplex in the American Thread Building served as an art exhibition space in 1979 when Herring painted a piece of the ceiling and wall with a pattern of black and white line figures and designs. As the years passed and the space became a restaurant and then a dusty storage area, the paintings were forgotten. A senior managing director at Cantor Fitzgerald, Mark Calayo, and his wife June later purchased the space, intending to convert it into a high-end condominium. Calayo was killed on September 11, 2001, however. The property was quiet for another two years. Lee Summers, a broker at Sotheby's International Realty, who was shown the space, said it was a mess, but it was authentic, a truly historic space. The rest of the building had long been converted into luxury condominiums when a real estate developer, Richard Saunders, bought the property a year ago and work commenced. Contractors broke through a wall on the second floor and opened a stairwell into the basement, creating a nearly 8,500 square foot space and unearthing Herring's work in the process. At first, Mr. Saunders said he didn't know exactly what to do with the painting. The work was original, according to the Keith Herring Foundation, but it couldn't be moved because it was painted on fragile fire brick. Mr. Saunders said he interviewed a lot of preservationists, but eventually decided to just let it be. The rest of the space was completely renovated. The room at the entrance, which was used as a trading room for the wool exchange in the 1800s, has carved moldings and a 26-foot ceiling. Mr. Saunders had those features restored, a new floor put in, and a $160,000 stairwell added to the second floor, which has two bedrooms and a large bathroom. The basement, home to several restaurants over the years, was transformed into what Mr. Summers said would be an ideal game room and work area. But the property's most striking feature is the Herring Wall. It's the first thing that prospective buyers will see after they enter the apartment from the private door next to the lobby entrance. The wall curves until suddenly it juts in, creating a kind of closet where the painting straddles the wall and part of the ceiling. The entire area around the painting down to the floor remains unreconstructed. One section is old black wood and there are holes in the sheetrock. The Keith Herring Foundation is recommending that the entire section be covered with a plexiglass window, but Mr. Saunders said he would leave that decision up to the new owners. Because the artwork can't be removed from the wall, Mr. Saunders said it has not increased the value of the triplex and it's just an added thing. It's for someone who likes Keith Herring. If it were removable, the artwork would be worth between $800,000 and $1 million. An executive director of the Keith Herring Foundation, Julia Gruen, said the piece dates to 1979, when Herring was 20 or 21. He died of AIDS in 1990. She said this was a project that Keith did using the space, and he was barely at the beginning of his career, a college student. The work is consistent with his early experimentation with abstract pattern making, Ms. Gruen said. The tessellating effect of this piece is present in his more iconic images, which can be found in major museums around the world. She also said it's the same alphabet of images, but the work became more graphically direct later in his career. A herring drawing from 1984 recently sold for $400,000, and his less distinct work sell between twenty dollars and $50,000, Ms. Gruen said. People have periodically asked for over 20 years what this thing is at the American Thread Building. She hopes it will be valuable to whoever purchases the apartment.